What is up, everybody? I'm back with another video, man. Terry Grimm to Crip Rapper kills his own family in Indianapolis with a Draco, including pregnant teen. By end of sentence, bro. So you telling me this man pulled off the title? You telling me this this dude literally did an uh, Atachi Uchiha, bro? Killed his whole clan, bro? <laughs> what? Like, bro? What? What? I got I got to hear this, bro. Man, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's ten ninety Jake, man. I'm rocking with y'all, and y'all rocking with me. And for this video, okay, we're gonna be boy. speaking on the Indianapolis mass shooting. How this wasn't some crazy kid. This was a crip rapper that allegedly killed his entire family except for his little brother that survived the. Wait, what? Bro, on God, he was on the Tachiuchi assignment. On God, he was on the Tachiuchi assignment. Bro, what? So he killed his whole family, but didn't kill his little brother. He's literally on the Tachi Uchiha timing. Bro, that is crazy. What? Bro, what? Shooting, and he did this with a Draco. January 24th, 2020. Police responded to reports of a person shot at the 3300 block of East 36th Street just after 4 a.m. on Sunday morning. Officers found a 15-year-old man with gunshot wounds who was transported to a local hospital. Officers received information from the wounded juvenile that led them to a residence at the 3500 block of Adams Street in the same area where they found a gruesome scene. As the juvenile made his way to the ER and was being rushed into surgery, he told officers that everyone in his home had been shot and his older brother was the gunman. A family of five was found within the home. Three victims on the first floor, two others in the basement, all shot dead except one, a young woman who was discovered to be pregnant. She was immediately oh. transported to a hospital where medics battled to save her and the unborn child, but they didn't survive. This was oh. mass murder, six dead. And according to the mayor, the most devastating shooting in Indianapolis in more than a decade. In a Detectives interviewed bro. the juvenile in the hospital. He reportedly told police that his older brother had been snapped on by his father for leaving the house without permission the night before. His father told him the issue would be solved later, but the teen disagreed. It was then the boy said, while he was downstairs in the home with his parents, they heard gunfire upstairs and his sister yelling, Raymond shot Elijah. As more gunshots rang off, he heard his father say, I'm sorry, Raymond, I love you. The teen then said his brother came down the stairs with a Draco, a handgun that shoots rifle rounds and began shooting. The teen Bro. ran for the side door, being chased by his brother as he kept firing which would account for the four gunshots heard by neighbors. He was hit in the arms and legs. Bro, his brother is literally going to grow up and be like Sasuke, bro. What? 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 what, what, what? Like, whoa, 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 bro, bro, bro. He was running from his brother trying to shoot him with a drink. What? What, what, what? Bro, this can't be real, bro. This can't be real, bro. There's no way. What? but believes his brother was trying to shoot him in the head. Police found a 9mm handgun and casings inside of the home. Investigators also believe the teen used the Draco that was recovered later. Throughout Sunday, family and friends would gather on Adams Street seeking answers and asking what happened to the 15-year-old who was in the hospital and the missing 17-year-old brother. Police spoke with 17-year-old Raymond's girlfriend who said he'd been out of house on the night of the shooting and had gotten a call from his father telling him to come home. He later came back with two bags of clothes and told her his father had kicked him out. The girlfriend then saw neighborhood app alerts about a shooting on 36th Street and another shooting on Adams Street. Raymond denied having knowledge of either shooting, according to court documents. Later in the morning, the girlfriend went with him to Adams Street. She described him as nervous at the scene. At one point, he began crying and acted a clown, according to her. The girlfriend said she had never seen him like this before. Several hours later, police tracked the 17-year-old to Plainfield at a relative's home where he was arrested. January 28th, six counts of murder, 
one count of attempted murder, Bro. and one count of carrying a handgun without a license were filed against 17-year-old Raymond Childs III, oh, who brother. killed everyone in his family aside from his 15-year-old younger brother. Bro, he's literally on Itachi Uchiha timing, bro. What? Like, what? His whole family but his little brother, bro? That is so crazy. Bro, what? Brother Xavier that survived. He killed his mother and father, 42-year-old Kezi and 42-year-old Raymond Childs. His brother, 18-year-old Elijah, and Elijah's girlfriend, 19-year-old Kiara Hawkins, as well as her unborn baby boy, who would have been his nephew. He also oh, killed his 13-year-old sister, Rita. Because of his age, he's narrowly avoided the death penalty, but faces life without parole. Raymond went by the rap name Lil Raymond, and can be seen in music videos with his 15-year-old brother, Xavier. His lyrics include killing, but investigators are more interested in the specific gun seen in the videos that resembles a Draco, and if that's one of the weapons he used to kill his family. Now hearing about this case, I waited until today when he was charged as an adult so that I would have more information available to really look into why somebody would snap and kill their whole family. And the first thing that came to mind when people have exotic animals that they raise from when the animals are first born, and then that same animal goes on to kill the owner that raised them. It's an animalistic behavior, a trait that we can't process, we can't understand. We don't know why the animals snap and all everyone says is it's a wild animal. It's its natural killer instinct as a predator. So why do humans do it? What can cause a human to kill everyone around them, to snap, to commit a mass shooting, mass murder? Everyone always claims that these, you know, shooters that hit up schools and everything, they're crazy. I don't necessarily think that's the case with this kid. If you look at his family's pictures, there's a picture of the father and the brother, and they're all rocking blue. It's safe to assume the whole fucking family is crip. If the father's rocking <laughs> blue bandanas on the slippers, the brother got an all blue suit, and then he's got blue flags in the music video. And I mean, it isn't uncommon for a whole family to be gang banging. And then he's doing music. He's got the studio set up in his house. He's talking about killing. You can only talk about something and manifest on it for so long before your thoughts become a reality. And it all comes back to the extended day creed that I learned in prison. Watch your thoughts, they become your words. Watch your words, they become your feelings. Watch your feelings, they become your actions. Watch your actions, they become your habits. Watch your habits. It becomes your lifestyle and you watch your lifestyle because it becomes your mm. destiny. You can only sit and think about shooting at Ops, Dracos, Glocks, and all this bullshit I don't think I've ever heard that until you start really finding yourself in a lifestyle full of gang banging and violence. I mean, and when that you makes have sense, somebody though. that manifests that type of reality and energy, it isn't surprising to see them act out with the same gun that they're flexing in their music videos. And instead of directing that anger at opposite gang members, he directed that anger at his father and ended up killing his whole fucking family. That's now, the so death crazy. penalty, I don't know why he doesn't get an express pass to the death chamber. They're saying it's because he's 17, right? Had he been 18, though, good to go. You can stick a needle in him. It's over with. I don't necessarily agree with that. I don't see the difference. Yeah, I don't think, like, the one year should matter. Maybe if it was, like, two or three, but the one year, yeah. The difference between... But wait, I just realized. So you're telling me he killed his whole family at 17 years old, bro? What? 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 Oh, yeah, he, he's wildin', bro. At 17? One year in a person's mentality. And they say you're not completely developed until you're 25 years old. Well, then nobody under the age of 25 should be able to face the death penalty if your mind is not mature until then. I don't think that the 17, 18-year-old, I don't think that should be the cutoff. If any of you find a GoFundMe for the family, Obviously, there's only one kid that's left, a 15-year-old, and hopefully he gets adopted by the family, whoever's left, a relative that he can live with. 
And they're gonna so need money, bro. you know, it's COVID. They're gonna need money for the funeral service and everything else. So if any of you find a GoFundMe, comment it. If you see it before I do, like the comment so it reaches the top so I can pin it. But hey, it's Tan Addy J. I'm rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with me. Till next time. A W W video, my boy, but bro. He really Itachi Uchiha. Bro, what? That is so crazy, bro. That is so crazy. That is so crazy. It's 17. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. I gotta see. <clears throat> Was Tachi Uchiha when he killed his clan? Where is the spy that Kasuki? Okay, 21. So he did it at 21 and he did it. Atachi did it at 21 and he did this at 17. Ain't no way, boy. Ain't no way, boy. But, bro, bro. But yeah, that's going to be the end of this video, bro. Like, comment, and subscribe when we out, bro.